My name is Aaron Buring. I'm with HMC Architects and I'm the Senior Interior Designer and I specialize in next-gen spaces. My name is Scott McHugh and I'm the owner of Custom Educational Furnishings. My name is Terry Davis and I'm Senior Product Engineer for CEF. One of my favorite parts about this table is that it has all the tools that you need to be successful in a makerspace. You got storage uh, for the small pieces, you got storage for the big pieces, you have power integrated at the top, and you have the trash cans for quick cleanup. So you're really able to focus on your lesson all in one stop. My favorite feature is very easy. It's the quick and easy cleanup process that's been integrated into the table. The students can quickly funnel their unused products in or their waste products into the trash system. The paradigm has been absolutely shifted. We're away from centralized learning to decentralized learning, student-owned solutions. So we need the teacher to be mobile, we need the students to be mobile, we need the furniture to be mobile. Furniture is such a key part in next-gen learning that solutions that are on wheels, the solutions that are doing two-for-one goods like storage and a learning surface. Narrowing it down to the thing that I like most about the Edison table, I would have have to go to one of the simplest things and that's the bin system. They're so versatile and we've used them in other products. It allows kids to be able to store the smallest uh, trinkets up to very large items in a concealed environment that's very organized. My favorite part's the magnets by far. It's just, it's great. It's so fun and neat just to be able to plunk those things under there. I think it's gonna save a lot of time and energy for custodial staff to be able to clean underneath. The kids are able to do it, so it helps the teacher keep everything in order. So what we want to do is make sure that the furniture fits in our space, looks good in our space, functions in our space, all from the very beginning. And that's where working with the manufacturer like we are today, uh, really helps that understanding process because I know exactly what the notes and bolts are of this makerspace table before I even put pen to paper on what the walls look like. CES commitment is based on engaging students in the learning process. Everything that we do, we think through it from a teacher standpoint, from a student standpoint, from a space standpoint, from a mobility standpoint, and we want to create an environment that maximizes that child's ability to engage in learning. This partnership of, of actual manufacturing designers is a beautiful one because we as designers talk with the clients on a daily basis. We hear what type of challenges and what type of solutions they want to see. So we have a very direct one-to-one -one relationship with clients and we also understand the building because we're building it ourselves. So we can build the building around these furniture solutions that are actual solutions for the, the teachers as well. So it creates a holistic package that normally doesn't happen in the design process. One of the key things that we do is make sure that the client really understands what they're getting from the beginning. That's through drawings, through virtual reality, through renderings, and as many models or, or physical things that we can do, and really show them all the parts and pieces of it rather than just giving them a table. We explain why we do the bins that fit with the other bins, why we're doing the magnets so it can be cleaned underneath. So that way they can fully understand all the work and all the thought process and all the solutions and potential solutions that we're bringing to them with this table. Having a makerspace requires a lot of logistics, clean up, set up, take down. We wanted to make a solution that you could really just focus on the activity of using the makerspace as an educational tool. So we took other concepts that we use in other facilities and put them into the table to make it all one piece so you can actually take the piece as a unit, clean up is super easy, set up super easy, moving it around is all at a snap of a finger. We really want to make sure that the teachers are spending the least amount of time setting up and the most amount of time focusing on their students.